Hello, my name is Bersheryl Bailey, and I'm with the Michigan Department of Education Office of Educational Supports. And we're here today with the Michigan student, Kyla, who is a member of the Superintendent Student Advisory Council. How are you today, Kyla? I'm doing very well. I'm very excited to be here. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. The Michigan Department of Education is celebrating Black History Month with a calendar of Black authors and their works. This year, the department has invited Michigan students to recommend books by authors of color that inspire them. Kyla, can you tell us about your book? Yes, I have it with me here. It's called Legend Born by Tracy Dion. And I picked up this book because I'm a big fan of fantasy fiction, especially young adult genre as well. And this book was especially interesting because it features um, a young black teenage girl as the protagonist. And that's a perspective I don't usually get to read a lot about um, within the fantasy fiction genre. So it offered a really amazing perspective and it was a super interesting storyline as well. Excellent, sounds exciting. MDE believes that literature serves as a mirror or a window for students. Can you tell us, is this book a mirror or a window for you? Yeah, so for me, this book was sort of a mixture of both because a lot of the experiences the main character went through, um, I could relate to in part, but not always in full. Um, for example, when the main character found herself in spaces where um, she was uncomfortable um, like in an all white space or um, because of her race or her gender, she felt uncomfortable. Um, I could relate to her in part, but again, not in full. So in some ways I could see those experiences reflected back or when she was um, learning more about her family line and her ancestors, um, I could relate to some of those experiences, but not to the same degree as her. And so it was also um, an amazing window into this new perspective for me. Um, as I could better understand the main character's experiences or at least look, get a new insight and the experiences of people like her across the world. Sounds really exciting, Kyla. Can you share a quote with us from the book? Yes, and so this quote is from a moment in the story when the main character is learning more about her ancestors and feeling a lot of grief. Um, but also understanding how that grief in her history is really important. And so it is from buried lives to beaten ones, from blood stolen to blood hidden. I map this terrain sins, the invisible and the many, and hold them close. Because even if the pain of those sins takes my breath away, the pain feels like belonging. And ignoring it after all I've just witnessed would be loss. Excellent. Tyla, thank you so much for taking uh, your time and energy to share with Mich Michigan educators. Have a great evening. Thank you. You as well.